So today we have Jyoti. Uh, she would be talking on the topic of striking a balance in our lives. You know, that is basically work-life balance. And if I talk about Jyoti a little bit, she is co-founder and an executive coach in her own organization that is Rizan Management Consulting Private Limited. And I think she's currently based out in Singapore and the current time difference, I think it's pretty late there. Uh, oh, it's it's 8.30, two and a half hours ahead. Yes, it's so I'll hand over to you, Jyoti. You can go ahead and continue to talk. Yeah, I'll just share my screen here. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Jyoti, and I'll be sharing my views and experiences on striking a balance in our lives. And uh, in that regards, I'll be sharing some slides and uh, taking the Q&A a uh, little in the end. I hope that is OK with everyone. Well, we all keep talking about work-life balance and that we all want a balance in our lives. The blogs, the discussions, the TED Talks, they all are screaming about work-life balance everywhere. But still we all struggle with it. And we, we just, in fact, I just wonder that, uh, I hope there is some template that we can sh copy and paste and uh, somewhere just paste it in our lives and be happy about it. But, uh, but the, the thing is that it, it is not so. It does not work like that. And I have experienced this in my own life. I, I was in a, I would just share a brief background and my own personal experience in that regards. I was in a leadership position uh, while I was doing a full-time job and uh, had not been doing my own work. I used to work with American Embassy in Delhi. I had a good career, a decent money, and uh, I really liked what I was doing. Every day I, I would wake up in the morning wanting to reach office, crack some of the most complicated visa fraud cases. And in the evening, I would want to get back home to my family. So far, everything was good. And I had a perfect balance in my life. It continued the same for a couple of years. And but all of a sudden, this same job, which was giving me the immense pleasure, it was giving me uh, happiness. It was I was at peace with myself because I was able to give 100% to my job. So there I, I felt that, um, OK, I'm, I'm doing good. But after a while, I st it started becoming quite stressful for me as there was no end to these cases that I was doing and I had to actually bring my work back home. And then a travel was also involved and I was hardly getting any time for myself or for my family or for my kids. So I, I started kind of feeling what, what is this happening? Why I can't, I, I felt as if I'm losing control over my things. And at that point of time, I was introduced to. I was in. Uh, I was introduced to. Sorry, it's, my screen just got. I'm extremely sorry for for this. Yeah, and at that point, I felt that. What is happening? I need to get control of my life, and then I realized that too much of working hours. Is, is creating this imbalance and I need to start thinking about what I have to do with all these things. And that was the time when I decided to quit my job. And I decided that I need to move on and I need to look for something which which is not making me feel all the time I'm, I'm stumbling over the things. And then I moved on to coaching where I felt that, yes, this is something which I can pursue full time. So I resigned from my job. And some people told me that, are you crazy? You're, you're leaving such a powerful job. You're, you're it's such a well-paid thing. But then I felt that was the right thing for me to do at that point of time. As time changed, my priorities changed, my 
work life balance needs changed sometimes when the work is 80% and life is 20% sometimes it is 50 50 and sometimes it is 20 80 i'm sure everyone on this call has similar stories to share because we all feel this thing that at, we have less number of working hours or what is happening there's too much of stress because of all these things so whenever we talk of creating a so what do we do whenever we feel that it is we need to create a we need we are not finding this balance that is the time when we need to create a balance for ourselves we need to see that what we can do with our lives and we start finding sometimes we start finding faults in ourselves we start blaming ourselves that i have too many things on my uh, on my platter and i am not able to do this where should i start all these questions keep cropping up and to some extent it is true as well but sometimes it is it is true that there it when we are creating all these things it is not only we who are at fault it is not only that we who, sometimes it is the external factors as well who uh, who who do not let us create that balance for ourselves for example if we are in the office we there are tons of other things or maybe we have our own list of things to do that we will be working on uh, 10 things today but there are some meetings which just crop up and or sometimes there are these non stop emails some sometimes there are long commutes when we are moving we are not able to differentiate between what is urgent and what is important and there are many more things that are part of this list that distract us from doing which make us neglect the important things that we need to do at the cost of urgency and what happens what is the net result of all this it leaves us exhausted because we all have limited time and energy and the resources as well we don't have that much amount of time so the, we we need to stop feeling guilty about this we need to stop um, we need to start thinking that what is it that we need to do and there was a survey as well which was done on this factor and that survey sh- actually it showed that yes these non stop emails are uh, unproductive meetings or long commutes they all are part of the things which cause stress to us and which cause imbalance in our lives apart from that what happens many times that when when these work starts impacting our lives that there was a very interesting speech which was given by an ex ceo of uh, coca cola he said that our life is we all are juggling with balls and uh, like work our ourselves our family our relationships these all are balls and out of these balls which are very important part of our lives work is made up of a rubber ball if we leave it for a while it will bounce back but ourselves uh, our family our relationships they all are made up of they all are glass balls and they are the most delicate and fragile things that we have in our lives which once shattered they will never be fixed again and they need it to be take, uh, treated with uh, care this analogy is not not an excuse uh, to be a slacker at work but rather than to think that how we manage these key balls i'm not ignoring my work ball and I, or i'm not blaming that everything or this balance becomes an imbalance only because of our work no that is not true but i'm just getting more comfortable with letting it bounce just a little longer i need to give it more i need to give more importance to my health to my family today even if if uh, uh, this a few what tells us or i tell you that none of these things we should not be taking them seriously till 90% of the people would do what they are doing they will not bring any change unless and until they themselves want to do it as a coach i'm not here to give you a a magic formula 
I have worked with with many CEOs, startup entrepreneurs, uh, people at different levels in their lives, and they all have various priorities in life across the spectrum of wishes. And as a coach, my job has always been to empower them, bring more clarity in their thoughts in order for them to to create their own magic formula. You know, it is very difficult to uh, to bring everything on a template. However, yes, there are certain patterns that uh, I saw away and there are some key takeaways also that you may like to carry home and you would want to think and work on them or, and make part of your daily routine. And when I'm talking about that, it's the, the most important thing which I have been telling myself also and I would like to share with all of you as well. That is that we all need to know that there is no perfect balance. There is absolutely no perfect balance. So we need to stop feeling guilty about it. We need to stop telling ourselves that we are not spending enough time doing or spending 50% of our time in, the, in our work area or 50% of our time in family life. We need to understand that there is no perfect balance. And a balance, the balance that is there for me may not be the same for you. So we cannot compare ourselves either that uh, see, she's spending so much amount of time or, or uh, uh, she's giving so much time to her kids or she's doing, as a mom, I keep moving up and down with these things that uh, uh, today I haven't spent enough time with my, with my uh, kids or uh, I haven't been home or I haven't been doing things with my uh, family or uh, with my work, I need to spend at least eight hours. No, it is not It is not that. We need to understand that there is no perfect balance. We cannot keep on spending eight hours doing work and eight hours being home. We need to stop imagining ourselves waking up 5 a.m. in the morning, hitting the gym. Though if we do it, it will be nothing like it. It's It's absolutely good for our body and health but don't stress yourself for all these things though if uh, it is still okay whenever we think that our our uh, what would be our ideal day a picture comes in our mind where we see ourselves hitting the gym in the morning grabbing a meal uh, uh, our lunch heading off to work then trying to come home early having dinner or doing some important other chores and uh, then just wind up our day with a nice book in our hand in, in bed at 9 p.m. But that's often not the case. We all strive for the perfect schedule. But what I want to request you is don't strive for that perfect uh, schedule. Strive for a realistic st uh, uh, schedule without stressing ourselves. Some days you might want to focus more on work. There would be days when your work is 90% and your family is 10%. And there are days when it is other, other way around. However, at some times we just want to do nothing. Just want to read the book or pursue a hobby or just relax. It's okay. Balance is achieved over time. It's, it's not each day. So at the end of the day, if you are not ticking up 10 things that uh, okay, today I've done this also, I've done this also, I've, I've made a few phone calls to my family also. That is not striking a balance. Even if you speak to your family, since because I'm staying uh, away from my family and uh, me, my husband and my kids, we are in Singapore, but my parents, my siblings, they all are back in India. If I'm not giving them a call, I do not stress myself over that. We need to stop feeling guilty. Another key factor, what happens is that when we keep thinking about work all the time, there is an important thing that we are neglecting, an important thing, and that is our health. So I would like to say that we need to prioritize our health. We need to, if our body is healthy, everything will fall in its place by being healthy. I don't mean that we should have a six packs and we should uh, be doing uh, all the activities every day. What I mean is that we need to be conscious about it. 
we need to eat healthy we need to get our regular tests done we need to be active for 30 minutes a day walk play sport swim yoga anything it it is different for all of us what i what one person enjoys maybe the other person is not enjoying or maybe your your body is not ready for that thing so don't sit for long hours take small breaks drink enough water this all these things are very easy and i'm sure we all have heard about this many times we all have heard or we have read about it it's all but still despite that how many of us take conscious efforts to do exercise every day how many of us get up from our desk after every half an hour or one hour how many of us make sure that we are drinking enough water during the day we we are not and this is a high paced thing we if we will not take care of our own health it it may not bother us today but tomorrow yes it will so why to let that that situation come if if uh, a person falls sick it is not only that person who is who is uh, going through it it's the entire family that suffers don't get sick due to negligence i'm sorry this this got stretched a little bit more but yes our health is the most important thing so just remember that uh, that if if we can go for regular checkups if we can do all those things it's just the perfect thing the next thing that that comes to my mind is that we keep feeling that if we are not going to office if we are not doing our work the whole world will get upside down if we keep our phones away for some time we might miss on the the most important messages that is not true if we do not check our emails for half an hour when we are having meals with our family just for that half an hour if we can keep our phones away nothing is going to happen the world is not going away whatever you may think it is not waiting for you either people say that it is a matter of life and death for me so many things are happening i cannot keep my phone aside for a while the only life and death matter is the life and death period after that it's okay not to look at the facebook for half a day or not to respond to our whatsapp messages immediately if anything is important the person will give us a call it's okay not to respond an email after 10 pm it's okay to switch off our data it is important to take 6 to 8 hours of sleep we live in a connected world that never sleeps but cut, cutting our ties with outside world from time to time allows us to recover from weekly stress and gives us space for our thoughts and ideas emerge at that time sometimes truly unplugging means taking a vacation and shutting our work completely off for a while a vacation could be 15 minutes walk around the block without looking at our phone or a vacation could be one week traveling for uh, uh, for our family and friends it is important to take a step back to physically and mentally and then recharge the next important piece of the of uh, that i would like to share uh, is very much synced with the previous one make time for ourselves which is it is very important because solitude brings peace do sometimes that give us happiness it can be painting it can be gardening reading talking anything that gives us an energy which energizes us which brings a smile on our face which brings peace do something that gives you happiness uh it it is not important always to keep aside uh, one hour every day or two hour every day no just one hour in a week also it it can just energize us or spending time with our friends that is equally important unwinding ourselves if if we if we drop that if uh, if we leave our comp- uh, 
it's it's not that i know the job that we are doing is giving us money to live peacefully is making us financially sound if someone is paying us well it is our responsibility to give our 100% to them but all that passion about creating the next google being in the next stand of sensation all this is fine we just need to remember that if we are working for a company that is paying us well we have to be responsible for us but if this job is draining us it is difficult for us to do the things that we love outside of work then something is wrong you may be working in a toxic environment for a toxic person or doing a job that is that truly don't love if this is the case then it is the time for you to think look around see if you need to change your job and if you cannot change be true to it continue working till you find another one life does not work that way it is not either either or i or a life it is a mix of millions of things this is why i want a uh, I mean i just we as individuals we need to prioritize our activities we need to prioritize our, li- our lives we need to see what what fits our lives rather than always comparing what other people are saying or what what other people are doing each and every individual is different the way each and every individual is different our needs are different our desires are different we need to start working with our with our things that give us the uh, the uh, i would say give us the happiness and that is what i would like uh, what i had to share for, uh, say and i would be in fact i would like to thank you all for listening to me and i would be happy to answer your questions thank you so much jyoti uh, for for this wonderful talk on this you know how to you know create a beautiful balance between our work and our life and yes we do uh, have we are open right now for question and answers from you know how we can you know um, create you know and help create a balance between uh, work and life so uh, currently i have a set of questions from uh, from our audiences already our uh, the first question comes from abhishek uh the question is uh if we have so many things mm-hmm. how we can prioritize our work any formula for that every day it is not that uh okay so prioritizing our work whenever we get we all of us know that whatever whatever our delivers are for tomorrow or for today so when we are working we need to start thinking what is important at the moment what is the most urgent thing that we need to do and when we make that list whatever is important and whatever is urgent we we need to set our own deadlines with the list of things that we have on our platter once we may we create that we have that clarity then it becomes much easier for us to uh, probably sort out our things there is no perfect balance as uh, it's it it depends on the demand of our work it it depends on uh, uh, what submissions we have to do in our office or if we are talking about particularly about our work it is uh, sometimes and we also need to keep a time buffer because sometimes certain things just come up and which are absolutely urgent and if your boss comes up and says that okay so today this is the most important thing and i want you to do that but if all the time if we are just thinking that uh, i have 10 other things which i have to do we need to have a time management which actually helps us in this time and so that quadrant uh, about uh, what is important it helps so i think that that helps us to to make a list thank you thank you jyoti for answering appreciate this question uh now moving ahead the next question from sumit um the question is it, it will be a pretty elaborate answer i'm assuming so in advance the question is how to get rid of stress and depression naturally we need to first figure it out 
what is the thing which is giving us a stress what are the things from which we we did, what what is stress actually stress is something that we disagree with stress is something which uh, which is something different from our routine something which crops up which is not in our day to day life something which is bothering us that is what stress is so first thing that we need to find out in our daily lives is that what is it that is bothering us once we figure it out what is it that is bothering us then probably we can sort it out and find a an answer for that and depression comes when we are unable to find the answers to our questions then we start blaming ourselves we start uh, we stop looking at other things or the other doors which are open it it is a it's a very wide wide thing to talk about so i would like to know that uh what is what kind of a stress it is that uh, or what kind of a thing that uh, see actually it is it is a as you as you mentioned saket it is definitely a wide thing and i'm just thinking how can i answer what is stress anything that that bothers me or anything which i disagree with is is a uh, is stress for me and sometimes what is a stress for me may not uh, i may not be feeling that if if i sit down and if i think about it about uh, uh, what the what my concern is i may be able to sort it out and that will that will just help me to come out of this uh, uh, the depression part as well i hope uh, i know this is sounding little confusing but i i hope i've been able to answer the question um i feel so it was pretty much you know it was answered perfectly uh, i really don't see any other way it could have been answered better thank you so much jyoti for that uh one last question uh, we have from ujwal we're running out of time so the last question from ujwal is why is always work or office talked about when we say work life balance what about cases when there is no extra work or no overtime work still the life is imbalanced as i mentioned in one of my slides that we uh, we keep talking about work we give too much importance to work because that is the place from where we are earning we are getting our finances that is why work is is uh, is one thing that we always talk about and in life so many other things come where we talk about family and uh, so that is why whenever we talk about work life balance it is always these two things but yes you rightly said that over time and working on other things these all are small factors that we do not even consider and if we look at this survey uh, the slide which i shared it says that yes overtime is one of the key factors which impacts our work life balance it is the unproductive meetings or non stop emails and other stuff they they all are the factors which bring about all these uh, stress in our life which bring about all the balance in our imbalance in our lives so it is not that this as you mentioned that overtime or other things they they do create an imbalance in our lives okay um thank you so much uh but then i think we i'm not sure we still can take another last question uh, we can quickly add up like couple of minutes to this many yeah, time sure. many a time people do not have option and are stuck resultant of which there are certain things to be sacrificed either in your professional life or personal life mm -hmm. what's your take on that absolutely true as i said there is no perfect balance sometimes definitely that thing is there that uh, we have to give more time to our office it is at a crucial stage where if we do not give we might be in a trouble so we have to spend too much time on our uh, on our uh, you know on our work but 
there are at times when our family demands more time if someone is unwell or if someone is uh, uh, or are it can be anything for anyone but definitely that is the thing that sometimes our family takes up so the perfect balance is not spending equal time on these things the perfect balance would be when we can give importance to whatever is required whatever is important at that point of time in our lives if work is demanding we need to give time and we need to always have a backup plan that suppose if if there is a family emergency and i'm sure it happens with most of us when the spouse our spouse stands up and they take our uh, they play the role of both mom and dad or at work we have our colleagues who help us at, at that time so there are times when when we we try to strike that balance thank you jyoti uh, thank you so much for answering these questions and we're still you know you know coming up with questions you know, uh, let me do one thing you know uh, i will post these questions with jyoti and jyoti would be answering them to each individual one on one and uh, i can actually also post this same question on chat so once i'm done with this uh, i'm starting with the next session with shekhar he's already waiting so um Jyoti can answer these questions on chat directly to Abhay. Okay, and uh, I would be happy to answer uh, in case if any one of have any questions. My email address is there, and my LinkedIn is also there. I would be happy to all the question uh, answer all the questions, and in case if anyone has anything, they can just reach me out in person as well. Thank you so much, Jyoti. Thank you so much for uh, spending this, uh, giving us this time and opportunity uh, to have this, you know, beautiful conversation with you and answering all the questions by uh, posted by our attendees. Uh, we'll really hope to see you further in our uh, other um, conferences and uh, definitely in other meetups. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Sakit, and thank you very much. Thanks. Bye -bye.